Thank you, Gimba. Welcome to Sports News. The national record holder, Kelechi Wanaga, has clinched Nigeria's sixth gold medal at the African Athletics Senior Championships in Asaba, the Delta State capital. Wanaga, earlier this evening, won the women's javelin final with an impressive throw of 56.96 meters in her fifth attempt, edged out her closest rival, Joanne Van Dyke of South Africa, who recorded a distance of 53.72 meters. This is the second gold medal the Inugu State-born athlete will be winning for her country after winning gold at the 2015 All-Africa Games in Congo, Brazzaville. She won silver at the last African Championships in the same event. Whenever I start throwing my throws, it's always uh, like nothing is going to happen. But I always know that before the end of the um, games, I'll put up a fight. So the first three throws was like, uh, I think I was lost in the game. But the next round, I had to uh, put up myself together and then I had a better throw in the last three throws. That was how I won it. Uh, this is my second goal for Nigeria. I've won two goals and um, one saver in four competitions that I've represented Nigeria. Not a bad record. Meanwhile, Team Nigeria's Ab Abejoye Uyeni has clinched Nigeria's fourth silver medal at the ongoing games. Oyeni earlier this evening clocked 13.87 seconds to finish second in the men's 110 meters hurdles. South Africa's Antonio Alcana won gold, clocking 13.57 seconds. Happy, yeah, that's just it. All I wanted was just to be in the first two, and I really give thanks to God and everybody around me for the success. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, it's simple, like I can say it again and again. The crowd is amazing. All you could get is the pigeon, so you know they are for you. There's no doubt about that. So, like, the crowd is amazing, it's a cool support. It's, a, it's the experience, you don't buy it, you hand it. So, I give thanks to God and everybody around me that I was, I'm here and uh, I'm a silver medalist. I really appreciate that. Moving on, in the final event of the day, Nigeria's quartet of Denny Atinaya, Sikiru Adeyemi, Henry Okoria, and Isa Salihu have qualified for the finals of the 4x400 meters relay that will be decided on Sunday. The team finished third in hits, one in a time of three minutes and five seconds. Okoria told Channel's television after the race, that the team hopes to improve on the mark on Sunday and get the gold medal. Meanwhile, Serena Williams has announced her decision to withdraw from the Rogers Cup in Montreal, citing personal reasons. The 23-time Grand Slam singles champion lost 6-love, six 6-1 six to Johanna Conta, uh, the Mubadala Silicon Valley Classics last week, the heaviest defeat of her distinguished career. The 36-year-old, who has shown no signs of decline after losing in straight sets to Angelique Kerber in the Wimbledon final, had been given a wild card ahead of the U.S. Open. And that's all on sports news. Gimba Umar is back in just a moment. In Zimbabwe, 27 members of the Opposition Movement for Democratic Change, MDC, have appeared in court over public violence charges after six people were killed in post-election protests. The members who have not been formally charged will be held in custody until they return to court on Monday. Meanwhile, the Opposition, MDC, says that three of the victims from Wednesday's clashes have been buried. President Nangagwa has asked Zimbabweans to unite after he was declared winner of the presidential election, while opposition leader Nelson Chimasa has pledged to challenge the results. More than 700 firefighters are battling a major wildfire in southern Portugal as temperatures in some areas 
approach record levels. Forecasters say they expect 47 degrees Celsius in central parts, almost equaling the national record of 47.4 degrees Celsius. Elsewhere in Spain, three persons have died of heat stroke as temperatures continue to soar. A Europe-wide heat wave in recent weeks has seen drought and wildfires across the continent and temperatures above 40 degrees Celsius in Spain and Portugal expected to continue at least until Sunday. Portugal's civil protection agency has, seen sending, has been sending mobile text alerts warnings of extreme fire risk in some areas as they seek to avert casualties. Dozens of people were killed in two major forest fires last year. And 15 oil workers and three crew members on board a helicopter have been killed after their aircraft blades struck another helicopter cargo. Russian Emergency Ministry says that MI-8 went down at 10.20 local time in the northwestern Siberia area while the second helicopter was able to land safely. The helicopter, which belongs to Russian national airline UTR, was reportedly taking the workers to an oil station in the area. A government official says that authorities are investigating allegations of negligence and where the safety guidelines had been violated. The helicopter's black box flight recorders have also been recovered and appear undamaged. And the main news again, the governor of Gombe State, Ibrahim Dankwombo, today threw his hat into the ring as he joined the race for the nation's number one seat. Governor Dankwombo formally declared his intention during a meeting with PDP members in Gombe, the Gombe State capital. Also today, civil society groups condemned what they called orchestrated political crisis in Benue State and challenged political actors to provide purposeful leadership for the people. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of all of us here, have a splendid night. Good night.